Five families are suing the Kansas City, Missouri School District. Well, they accuse the district of not giving the African centered education collegium campus the state and federal dollars they're owed. Lisa Benson spent the day on campus. She's in the newsroom now. Lisa. Well, the parents are already planning to file the lawsuit, but the recent allegations of micromanagement by former Superintendent John Covington has given them even more evidence. I think what's even more telling is... These emails were obtained through an open records request by NBC Action News. We posted them on our website, and Ajamu Webster downloaded them. Webster says these messages shed light on another issue involving the ACE campus. We were pleased to see that board president Eric West was actually asking for an audit. The emails are between Eric West and school board member Derek Ritchie. West is requesting an audit to determine if the district was withholding any funds that A scholars had a right to. Richie responds to the email by stating, let's not get ourselves suckered into this game and this ace crap is getting tired some. Richie was taking a position to essentially stonewall and not do it and that's the reason why we think this suit is important. Webster is the chairman of the ACE advisory board and an ACE parent. He says ACE receives less than $7,800 a year per student while other schools in the Casey Mo district get more than $15,000 thousand dollars a year per student. We have special education students on the campus. ACE parents are filing for an injunction and temporary restraining order against the district. Arlene Bailey's granddaughter is a third grader at ACE. We talk about them being good scholars and learning all they can, but if they don't have the resources, we're defeating the purpose. A defeat these parents are not willing to accept. The district spokesperson refused to comment on pending litigation. In the newsroom, Lisa Benson, NBC Action News.